well, here we are, um, on first, first day in theory of our frozen trip. Um, we've been fishing for a couple of days, but the weather's just been terrible. Uh, high rivers, <coughs> brown water. Um, but now we have a week of blue skies and sunshine. Um, so, Fjordland, here we come. Uh, late season adventure. Find some flies in this bloody freezing morning right now. Um, that's about it. On the boat uh, this afternoon. There's us. Father and Ty are still castling in the cars right now. Yeah. They're still, still sleeping. That's her. Our lovely, lovely uh, camping accommodation there. Yeah, it was adequate. Can't say too much more. Fireplace. And you can see the clouds are still to burn off a bit. Um, still early in the morning. So like eight o'clock or half eight, or something like that. Yeah, uh, our lovely <coughs> fly tying table. Getting some supplies. Just on some. There's some nymphs here. Oh, this camera doesn't focus that close. This is us trying to get to the mouth of our river. And just some typical Fjordland um, access. All sorts of trees and bushes in the in the native bush. As you can see, pretty damn dense. The river, the river's just over there. Absolutely crystal clear. It's gonna be awesome. Well, we're just waiting on darkness to fall before we do some streamer bashing. We set a nice wee fire because it's freezing in the valley. Tay's sitting behind me. Have a wave or something. Here we are. It's a pair of us. It's been an eventful day. <laughs> a lot of bush bashing. A lot um, of bush bashing. Probably 20 or 30 fish spotted, none caught. Um, which is one heck of a record but in our defence almost every fish was inaccessible um, so uh, it happens we're, we're fishing the very lower reaches so we're hoping a bit further up we can access it a bit easier and get to these fish um, yeah, we'll see how we do in about 10-15 minutes Here we are on an absolutely freezing cold Fjordland River. There's still frost in the valley. Um, you can see one of the thickest hatches I've ever seen anywhere in the world. Um, Charles just hooked into this fish. Um, he's already lost two um, very recently. I've had one lost one. So hopefully, well touch wood, this one's going to keep on. View what things are like. As you can see, the sun's is lifted out of the river. Bloody freezing. There's still some nice fish uh, rising away. Pretty sure this fish will spook the other one. And it's far too cold to stay here. <laughs> it's almost it's incredibly hard to explain just how cold it is. The water's cold, 
and temperatures down in the valley must be close to zero. Charles having a wee shiver session. Snap. There's a fish just cruising over there. Oh, it's just... Oh, he's turned, he's gone back in a bit. There's two of them right beside each other. Right, so. Fishing this glassy river flat. Really hard conditions. Um, just fish are still rising. Um, the hatchery today is a bit sporadic, not really much doing. Um, but I've just had half success with uh, a wee CDC pattern in here. Um, I missed it, which is awfully annoying. Um, I lost a fish about four pounds this morning. Uh, missed this one. The spotting conditions are really difficult. You can see plenty of sun on the mountain tops, but bugger all down the river valley. This particular pool is one of the only places you can spot fish at the moment. But it's just so smooth. And one actually just rolls up beside us there. Assuming this camera is not too great. Let's see if he comes up again. There he goes. See the ripple is coming out on the edge of that red sunken rock. After the crack, see if we can get these. Here's what kiwi sandflies are like. Absolute nightmare. Maybe quite a strong bite, as you can see just from my arm. Don't know if you'll see them in the air. Hundreds of the buggers around right now. I'm trying to cover myself as best I can, which is uh, terribly effective. Go for my eyes now. 